Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. I hope you're learning how to do our solution step by step. I'm glad you're here again. So before this exercise, I'd like to invite you to subscribe on the channel if you are new here, like this video and share it with your classmates. Now let's go for another problem. Replace the two forces acting on the poles by a resultant force and a couple moment at point O. Express the results in Cartesian vector form. So first we have to find our unit vector AB. So first I'm gonna start finding my vector AB that is 0i plus 6j minus 8k. So I know that my magnitude of vector AB is the square root of 6 square plus minus 8 square. So the magnitude of the vector AB is equal 10. Now our unit vector AB is equal 6j over 10 minus 8k over 10. Now I can find the vector form of my force B. So B force in a vector form is the magnitude Fb times the unit vector AB. So my vector force B is equal 3j minus 4k. Now we're going to keep this uh, data and we're going to continue our problem. Now we're going to find our vector CD. So my vector CD is 2i minus 3j minus 6k. Now I'm going to find the magnitude of my vector CD, so the magnitude of the vector CD is equal to the square root of 2 square plus minus 3 square plus minus 6 square. So the magnitude of my vector CD is equal 7. So my unit vector CD is equal 2i over 7 minus 3j over 7 minus 6k over 7. Following our force d in a vector form is our force d that 7 times unit vector cd. So our vector form of d is equal to i minus 3 j minus 6 k. So now since I have here my vector b in vector form is 3 j minus 4 k and my force d in a vector form is 2 i minus 3 j minus 6 k. Now if I use the sum of the forces here I have to add vector form b plus my vector form d. The sum of the forces for our problem 3 j minus 4 k plus 2 i minus 3 j minus 6 k. So the sum of the forces or the resultant force of our problem is equal to i minus 10 k. So we just find that we have to replace the vectors force fb and fd for our resultant force 2i minus 10k at point b. Now we're going to find 
the moments that the forces B and D produces about point O. So first, we're gonna find the distance between O and A that we know that 8K according to our image. So the moment produced for force B about point O is the cross product of OA cross product our force B. So here our determinant I, J, K here 0, 0, 8 and my force that's 0, 3, minus 4. So finding here our moment 0, 0, and 0, 0, minus 24i and 0. So the moment B around O is equal minus 24i kilonewtons meter. Now we know that our vector distance R O C is equal 6k using the same equation that the moment D O is equal R O C cross product F D. So here I have I J K here I have zero zero six and then my force is two minus three minus six I and J zero zero two minus three so here I have zero I have twelve J zero K zero K minus minus 18i and 0j. So here our moment do is equal 18i plus 12j. Now to finalize our problem we have the sum of the moments that's equal my resultant moment about point O is equal M B plus M D. So my resultant moment is equal minus 24 I plus 18 I plus 12 J. So the resultant moment about point O is equal minus 6 I plus 12 J and our force just to record is equal 2 I minus 10 K thanks for watching the video until the end don't forget to like the video and share with your classmates thank you see you in the next video